Hi, and welcome back to my physics, uh, not my physics, my test replacement project. Welcome back to my test replacement project. This is the picture that uh, uh, is used for the rest of the problem. Now, I drew some diagram on the board, on the whiteboard that I have here, but I think this is a better representation. My, my drawing ha has a few mistakes. Um, so you can see exactly what we're solving for. Now, we... We already saw for the time for the pro for this projectile to to hit this point P, and we saw for this distance x right here. So the next uh, part of our problem is it goes like this: at the instant just before the projectile hits P, find the horizontal and vertical components. Or right here, if you want to move the camera a little over, uh, find the horizontal and vertical components. Take up. Uh, and to the right as positive directions. Aha! Uh -huh. Up and to the right are positive directions. That's also very important. Looking for the horizontal and vertical components. Now, if you want to bring the camera over here. Oh, before I before I uh, start the this problem, I just want to make it clear. In the last problem, I feel like I kind of rushed through uh, uh, the the equation. I want to make sure why. Uh, I want to make sure I explain why I chose this top equation for the last problem. Uh, when we solved for x. So we had, uh, as a refresher here, if you want to bring it down, uh, as a refresher, we had all the, we were looking for x, and we knew all the values except for x. So we had to find the equation up here at the top that I, we could uh, plug in all the, uh, plug in values for all the variables except for one, so we can solve for that one. So for this one, we had x, we didn't know, x naught, b naught, t, and A, we all knew, all of them we knew, so we could easily plug it in. Uh, for this, uh, actually we could have used the second one too, uh, but we could not have used the third one because the third one does not even have an X. Uh, so that's the, the method you use to figure out which equation to use. Now, back to the problem at hand. So we know that, if you know, I'm going to erase these equations here, I might bring them later. Uh, so I'm going to erase this. So what we're trying to do now is figure out the horizontal and vertical velocity components. Remember, the projectile looks like something like this, right? And here it hits point P. So we have an arrow pointing down this way. And we're going to give it horizontal and vertical components. I'm going to get rid of the arrow. Okay, so it's just a triangle here. So, the, uh, the horizontal and vertical, if you look, uh, if you bring the camera back down, um, we know for horizontal, remember we talked about this earlier, the velocity does not change. It changes a little bit because of air resistance, but we're going to say it doesn't change. Uh, it was 123.789, and that's what it's going to be when it hits the ground. So we know that the horizontal, right here, this this right here, this right here, is 123.789. Uh, so now we need to figure out what this vertical is. And how do we do that? Well, we go back down to the vertical section of our problem, and we see that we have all the values except for V. And we need to solve for that V to figure out uh, the... Um, final velocity vertically. So we uh, let, let's rewrite our equations. We've got uh, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. We have v squared equals v naught squared plus two a x minus x naught, and we have a no v equals v naught plus a t. Okay, so we're looking for v. Well, it already, it already popped up to me. Let's see if you, maybe you can pause the video and guess uh, which, which equation it is. But to me, it's, it's, I see it right away. It's very obvious. It'll be this one right here. You know why? Because uh, we're looking for v, and it's already on this side of the equal sign, so we don't have to do any rearranging. It makes it a lot easier. Uh, we, we know V naught, we know A and T right here, A, T, V naught, and now we just solve for V. So, uh, we plug in 
uh, if you want to move the camera here, so I'm right, here. right here. So you can see here. Just gonna make sure it's uh, visible. Okay, I'm gonna move it out a bit. Okay. So we have here. Uh, okay, the horizontal component is the same as I mentioned. Vertical v equals v naught plus at. Uh, the remember part of the problem was. Part of the problem said that down is positive and to the right is positive. Here, if I get the computer back loaded. Uh, so if you want to look back at the original problem, right here, remember, it said right here, take up and to the right as positive directions. So remember, uh, V, this is vertical, remember, so V, uh, V naught. So V naught I put as negative. So why did I put V naught as negative? If you look back at the uh, original equation here, the vertical velocity ori uh, originally, it was up and to the right. Uh, at the end, it's down and to the right at, at point P. So that's why uh, V naught is negative, and then AT, of course, is positive. Time is not negative, time is, you know. Um, and the acceleration, 9.8, is positive because down is positive. So, back to where we were. Uh, where were we? Right here. Uh, I, I'll, again, I'll save you from the calculations. Uh, you can thank me for that later. Uh, negative 93.281 uh, is V naught plus 20.482 is the time and 9.8 is the acceleration. So we get our final value is 107.443 meters per second. And that is our final vertical velocity and remember we figured out earlier that 123.789 was our final horizontal velocity so those are the two vectors of our final velocity vector those are two uh, like uh, sub component vectors okay so I think we finished it uh, I don't know maybe I can fit in the last problem in uh, this video or, or I don't know should I start a new video for the last problem what's the last problem the angle. I can do the angle really quickly. Okay, so the, uh, the last question, if you want to move it here. Okay, part E. What is the angle made by the velocity vector with the horizontal? Hmm, okay. So we're looking for this right here. That angle. Now, we know that the tangent of this angle is 107.443 over 123.789. That's just a Simple trigonometric, uh, you know, soka toa, toa, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, if we know the tangent of that, uh, let me bring a pencil. If we know that tangent of x, ta tangent, let's say, let's call that theta. Tangent theta equals 107.443 over 123.789 we know that uh, if we take the arc or the the inverse of both sides uh, we can figure out we can see the tangent inverse and tangent cancel out and we can solve for that angle remember this is the angle we're looking for the angle uh, with the horizontal so down from the horizontal uh, and we know it's going to be negative because this is we go we go down one instead of up. Uh, okay, so the theta. Oh, I already I already solved for it here. Arc tangent of 107 over uh, 0.443 over 123.789. If you're doing this by yourself, make sure your calculator is in degree mode, not in radian mode. I've made that mistake several times, and I paid a heavy price for it. Uh, Anyway, the angle is 40.956 degrees. So that is our final answer. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my test replacement project. See you next time.